right, today I got a whole bunch of Harbor Freight tools that are probably my favorite tools from there that I've found so far at least. Um, so I will just start going over them one by one and just let you know what I think of them here. Uh, first off, this dead blow hammer. This really bright orange colored dead blow. Um, I, it has been used and abused quite a bit. I did start to crack it here. Um, the last time I was using it, I was pounding on a um, axle shaft or a skid loader, trying to get that out of the bearings. Um, but it has been beaten up quite a bit. Um, these are lifetime warrantied, so I just go back with a new one. This will be the first one I've had to warranty. I've had this for probably a year, year and a half, something like that. Um, I just, I use it on my farm mechanic, do all of our own farm work here. Um, I work on cars, trucks, skid loaders, four wheelers, all sorts of that stuff. Um, and so it comes in handy. If you're a professional using it every day, probably won't hang up, hold up. Um, but for just the DIY guy, I think it does just fine. Uh, and even with that crack and I've used it after that, which just I switched to the other side, um, beat on that side. So it does a pretty good job. It's got, uh, let's see how much weight it's got. It's got, a, it's a four pound hammer. Um, it does, does pretty good work. It moves stuff pretty good. Next, I'll go with these long reach Allen sockets. I got the metric ones and the standard ones here. Uh, I like them. They really make it easy to get down into tight spots. I've had them for probably close to a year now. And the only one I'm starting to wear out is this. I don't know if the camera will focus on that. Um, this guy here is starting to wear out. It's the eighth inch one. That's the only one that I'm starting to wear out a little bit. But again, these are lifetime warranty too, so I'll just go back and swap them out. Not too much to say the 3 8 drive. Um, yeah, not really too much to say. I just like them because you can re really get down into some hard to reach spots with these where you can't get in there with a normal um, Allen socket or one of the little wrenches you can't get enough torque with or whatever. But I've, and probably the only reason this eighth inch one is broken is because I've used it on 3 8 impacts and stuff like that. So probably not supposed to use these on, with an impact. Get those off to the side. Uh, next we'll go over this Braun work light. Um, I like this thing. I'm planning on getting another one here next time I stop. It's just got swivel head on it. It's got a couple settings for the main beam and then it has a little flashlight tip here. It's plenty bright. There's a lower setting. And now here's the flashlight. Uh, I think this is about 20 bucks or so. Uh, you can get them on sale. I know with all their coupons they give out every couple weeks. So if you want one, I just wait, find a coupon and you can get it for 20, 30% off. Um, I did do a video on this comparing it with some other lights I had. Um, I can either look back and try to find that one. But it's, it's a good light. Got a USB charging port down here. Uh, it'll be, I think it's red when it's charging, green when it's fully charged. Um, the magnet on it is very strong. So that's pretty much all I got for that guy. Um, next, I got the Earthquake Ratcheting Air Ratchet. I put a little swivel adapter on the bottom. I really like this thing. Um, four reverse levers up here. It works great for, I love that ratcheting feature on an air ratchet and it's quite a bit quieter than your normal air ratchets. Uh, it, it's got, I think 70 foot pounds it's rated for. I don't know if it really has that or not, but it does, does do a pretty good job for the smaller fasteners and stuff. So especially I live up here in Wisconsin, rusty, that impacting motion really helps out uh, I think this was maybe between seventy and a hundred dollars too. I think something like that. I've had this thing for a couple of years now. You can see the paint on the head here is worn off a little bit, but other than that, it's held up really well. Probably gets weekly use, uh, for sure weekly use. Sometimes more than that. Uh, next, I got 
some of the ratchets here, ratchets and breaker bar. Here is their half inch flex head ratchet. Uh, it, for what it is, I think it's under 20 bucks there. It's, I can't remember how many teeth it is. It's not a real fine tooth, but it's not real coarse either. Um, the on off levers in the back. So I know, I believe it, these guys have their reverse lever backwards from a lot of other brands. I know my buddy has snap on wrenches and stuff like that. He's a professional mechanic and he hates these things just because the levers on the backwards from what he's used to. So it's harder for him just to quick flip it and go. He's actually got to think about it. Uh, it's plenty long. I think it's like 18 inches long or something like that. Should have measured it, but it's held up pretty well. I've had that for probably year and a half, two years again. I've put pipes on the end of here for cheater pipes and use that and the comfort grip panel still held up well. So it's doing pretty good. Same thing with these other ratchets I got here. This one, when I saw it in the store, I figured it was kind of a novelty. It had the, it's got the swivel head up here. I wasn't sure how strong that would be or how much it would really come in handy. This one's a lot coarser head. Um, not as nice of a finish, it seems like, as the other one. But I have used this one. I also have the 3 8 version of this. Um, I don't have it here with me today, but um, they come in handy for tight spots. I had to do, um, I think the main thing I could think of was an oil pressure sensor on a 07 Chevy Silverado 1500. And that's way up behind the firewall. You got to bend your hands back in there and put a foot and a half of extensions together with some wobble sockets and just awkward and this really made it easy because you could get the head in there just right and um, kind of helped me out there. I probably could have done it with a regular ratchet but I just had to add some more extensions and more wobbles and just been more of a pain so uh, I think this is right around 20 bucks too. Again all these things you can get coupons for and they go on sale all the time so <laughs> One thing I've never learned at Harbor Freight, never pay full price. Uh, same thing, comfort grip handle here works nicely. Um, probably about a foot long or so. And then their breaker bar here, comfort grip handle. I've used this thing quite a bit too, the head's still holding up nicely. This thing does like to flex quite a bit, you can see. Um, Sometimes you'll think you'll break it, but it hasn't broken yet, I guess. And all these have lifetime warranty, too. All the ratchets and breaker bars. I um, believe it's a two-foot breaker bar, I think it is. Um, Half-inch drive head. Because I've had cheater bars on this thing, too, breaking bolts, loose rusted bolts. and Held it pretty well. The finish is a little scratched up in some spots. Not too bad, but... I'm surprised, I figured the comfort grip handles would really kind of fade away with putting brake cleaner on them and um, PB Blaster, WD-40, all that stuff on them. I figured they'd start breaking down, but they really haven't. And then the last thing I got here is their axle drive sockets. There's something pretty simple, just nice to have these. Use them, use them quite a bit too. Um, paint still holding up pretty well. I've had these for, I don't know, maybe a year now. Maybe not quite. Nice thick walls on them to really help break those stubborn bolts loose. Um, this one, you see it's got a little bit of rust on the top here. So the finish could be better, but not too bad. They got the sizes that are printed on the sides. I know that doesn't really want to show up in the camera, but there we go. Um, it's pretty nice kit overall. I'd recommend it. The size they fit pretty snug. I've found haven't had too many of them that that don't fit. Um, yeah, I've used them. One thing I've used them for quite a bit for is pounding in bushings and uh, putting them in the press. Actually, they work pretty good for that. Not really what they're meant for, but do what you got to do to get the job done. Um, so those are probably my favorite tools that I have at Harbor Freight. I have other 
free screwdrivers and picks and other little things from them that are just real cheap things that are just kind of disposable. You break a pick, whatever, throw it away, buy a new one for a buck. I mean, Harbor Freight definitely has its moments where it's definitely the place you want to go for those cheap little things. Uh, most of these things, as a professional guy, yeah, you can get by with them. They're not really geared toward that as much. Um, these axle sockets would probably work just fine for a professional. I wouldn't wouldn't doubt that at all. Um, the light would work fine as a professional, I'd say. And I mean, if you want the ratchets and stuff, I think they'll work fine. Like I said, I've been, I fix all sorts of stuff in the shop here all the time. And I mean, every other day I'm using some of these tools and they've held up well for what I've needed them for. So I guess that should do it here. Um, if you like these videos, please comment down below if you want to have any questions about any of their tools or anything. I will try to find some links and prices and stuff for these down below. Put them in the description. Um, otherwise, just like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Thanks.